Hello everyone, Johnny FRX here, and I have a new project for you. This is a relay activated thermostat, if you will, uh, programmed Node MCU ESP8266 with the DS18B20 thermometers, two of them actually. The purpose of this is to control the heat pad for an under tank heater for my wife's new gecko. I have the ESP8266 also running a small web server, refreshing every five seconds. I hope you can see. I'm going to simulate this real fast right now, make believe that the heat pad is on, and we're going to pop one of the thermos thermometer probes in right here. And as the heat pad thermo temperature goes up on the screen, It's going to say, oh, heat pad is too hot. we got to turn this off for the poor gecko. The relay activates and turns it off. Take the probe out and simulate this tank is getting too cold. And the heat pad thermo degrees should come down. It may take a moment. If you're patient with me, we should see the light turn back on. Simulating the heat pad in the tank heating back up for Mr. Gecko to get nice and toasty again. Apparently geckos like their bellies warm when they sleep at night or during the day as it may be. 77, if you hang in there till 75 it should click back on. And I'll keep running this if you want to watch it. If, if not I understand. I also have a secondary thermostat hooked up to this as well which is going to monitor just the air temperature itself on the other side of the tank because the geckos do like a cooler side as well they're very finicky little animals apparently but it's been fun designing this all it is is one of the little 5 volt 5 amp relays it actually comes with some of the uh, starter packs from Arduino your tip of the run of the mill ESP8266 on a Node MCU with one of the dev type uh, boards attached to it so we have the extra pins since the Dallas sensor the DSB1820 is a one wire it makes it a lot easier running two of these sensors off of that type of board I'll include the code in the project here on the instructable and I hope you enjoy it we're almost down to the 75 degree mark if you can hang in there for just another few seconds we'll see it click back on once we get under 75 for the heat pad thermo. At the same time, I'll raise the other thermo just for demonstration purposes. I'm holding it in my hand right now. You should see the cool side thermo start to increase in temperature. They work independently, obviously. 75 degrees on the heat pad thermo. Uh-oh, it got too cold. We got down to 75. Let me turn the heat pad back on. Simulating that with my lava lamp base here. And that's all I got. Sorry for the length of this, but to simulate it was kind of tricky. Hope you enjoy, and hope you can use this code for some project on your side. Have a great day.